Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another Fan TV, man. Back after another video at the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button at the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so, um, you know, got some Ravens news today that I want to talk about, uh, get my opinion on, things like that. So, we're going to hop right into it, man. We're to talk about two things today. Um, the, the six Ravens that made the all pro team and that a big superstar has to turn back to practice, okay? So, let's start off with the first thing with the six Ravens that made the all pro team, right? So, um,. First, sorry, that's a video. <laughs> first team All Pro quarterback Lamar Jackson. Uh, first team All Pro linebacker Roquan Smith. First team All Pro safety Kyle Hamilton. All right, um, this is from the AP uh, All Pro team, the one that's more recognized, more acknowledged. Now the players one is still valid, obviously as well. But when you get this first team All Pro from the eight from the AP awards list. Um, this one is the one that's more recognized. So Lamar Jackson, Kyle Hamilton, Roquan, first team all pro on that, right? All right, second team all pro, linebacker Patrick Queen, defensive lineman Justin Matabike, and um, fullback Patrick Ricard, right? So let's talk about a couple of these guys in their seasons, right? So let's start off with Lamar Jackson, right? So Lamar Jackson, um, when you get this first team all pro as a quarterback, that pretty much seals you as the MVP of the league, right? There's no point in having these discussions about should he win or should he. He's going to win the, the MVP, all right? So it wasn't a unanimous vote for first team all pro. Uh, I think Justin Rebeck said it was 45 out of 50. Uh, I think Josh Allen got two. Uh, no, I think it was Brock Purdy got two. Dak Prescott got two. And then uh, Josh Allen may have got one or something like that. It, it broke down something like that, right? But 45 out of 50 votes went to Lamar Jackson, first team all pro quarterback. And he deserves it, all right? I mean, you want to talk about a guy showing up in the biggest games. When the Ravens face playoff competition, this is when Lamar Jackson played his best games of the season, right? Um, the only, there's really no game this year where I can look at it and be like, hey, the Ravens, Lamar was off this game, and the Ravens didn't, didn't deserve to win this game because Lamar Jackson let them down. There, there is no game like that, right? So um, from start to finish, he's pretty much on point this entire year, right? So um, shout out to him, right? Um, Roquan Smith, right? Roquan Smith, uh, big deal uh, last offseason. Got traded here. Well, not even all the big deal. Big deal during the season. Got traded during the season here, and he's been everything that you want in a a leader of the team, right? Roquan has a kind of mentality, the kind of personality that um, I like to call like controlled crazy, right? When you hear some of the quotes, some of the things that this guy says, you're like, is is he all right? But you know, um, it's all about being a leader of men. It's about that guy that gives you that kind of vibes that the Ravens had with Ray Lewis, right? I mean, it's, it's truly incredible what he's done in such a short period of time of really being one of the main leaders on this team, right? Uh, very, very quickly, all right? Kyle Hamilton, second year in the league, first team All-Pro. Uh, when the Ravens drafted Kyle Hamilton, I said at the time it was a steal. He was a guy that was projected to go top five in the draft. And because of a 40 time, he dropped down to 14, right? Um, now, listen, Kyle Hamilton has definitely exceeded my expectations this fast, but... I knew that he could be the kind of player that could do this, you know, go first team all pro, right? Um, so shout out to those guys. And then I saw an interesting thing right there when you uh, interested stat on Twitter where it was like five of the six Ravens that were all that were um, you know named to the all pro teams are all guys that were drafted by the Ravens. You know what I mean? So that means that the Ravens are finding talent in the draft, developing that talent, and that talent is becoming all pro players. That's that's beautiful, right? The only guys obviously the exception, which is Roquan Smith, but you know. You had to make that move to go get him in a trade. So, um, either way, great moves by the front office, right? Patrick Queen, right? I think out of everybody on this list, I think I'm most proud of Patrick Queen, right? Because you got to think about all the doubt, all the naysayers that Patrick Queen had. It's become second team all pro linebacker going into a contract year, right? It's going to boost his value up even more. So, if he doesn't end up becoming a Raven next year, you know, I wish him all the best. But, just focusing on what he did this year and last year, he deserves a lot of applause, a lot of praise, right? And I don't like to talk to Patrick Queen that everything that he's done is because Roquan Smith is next to him. That's not true, right? He is a good player on his own, right? Last year, um, I say it all the time, right? That game versus the Bengals, prime time when he picks off Joe Burrow, that was the game when Patrick Queen really turned the corner and became a real, real good NFL linebacker, right? And that was weeks before Roquan Smith became a Raven, okay? So um, has Roquan Smith helped uh, Patrick Queen elevate his game to another level? Of course, right? I'm not going to take that away from Roquan, right? But Patrick Queen has done a lot on his own and deserves that credit. That, that credit excuse me. Um, also, um, you know, um, 
I lost my train of thought. Justin Matabike, right? Shout out to Justin Matabike, right? You know, this guy that um, <laughs> my friends and I, we call him, you know, you know African Aaron Donald, right? You know what I mean? Because he's always training with Aaron Donald. That was his comp coming out of college was Aaron Donald. And he has that kind of game-breaking uh, sack ability, right? So, you know, we're talking about a guy, 12-plus sacks this year. I think he might have 13 sacks. I can't remember the official what he has. But um, he deserves this this honor, you know what I mean? Once again, uh, first team went to Aaron Donald and Chris Jones. So um, two two guys that are mainstays in the league, two guys that had excellent seasons. So Matt Abike still deserves to be recognized on that second team, so that's great for him. Once again, the guy going into a contract year, right? So um, I hope the Ravens can retain Justin Matt Abike because interior pass rush of that standard, that quality, just doesn't come around too often, right? And um, I would say the guy that I owe probably the biggest apology to from the offseason is Patrick Ricard, right? I said that I don't know if Patrick Ricard has a role in this Ravens offense that, you know, should the Ravens even keep Patrick Ricard? You know, I was debating that this offseason. I was completely wrong about that. Patrick Ricard has not only um, shown his value to this team, but also shown that he is still one of the best players in the league at his position, right? Um, I think that maybe I was blinded by Greg Roman's overusage of Patrick Ricard and things of that nature that, you know, I missed out on the truly impactful player that he is, right? So I can admit that I was wrong on that. So uh, Patrick Ricard has done an awesome job of showing that he's truly a valuable player to this team and that the Ravens, um, honestly, some of the Ravens' best pass, pass concept and things like that are when Patrick Ricard is blocking as a sixth offensive lineman um, kind of down there, right? So... There were times this year I was doing game recaps where I said I wish Patrick Ricard was in the game more to help with the blocking, right? So he's been extremely valuable, and um, I'm glad that Patrick Ricard is a Raven, right? So I can say that now. All right, so that's for the guys that made the All-Pro teams, right? So congrats to those six players, right? Um, Ravens had a lot of players, good players this year, had great seasons, but, you know, those guys made the All-Pro teams, all right? So, uh, but last but not least, major news today, Mark Andrews has officially been designated to, uh, to return to practice from the injured reserve. This is major news, right? I mean, when Mark Andrews got hurt, it looked like he was going to be done for the year, but um, he's back now. So I believe how it works is that now this opens up a three week window for the Ravens to activate Mark Andrews off of IR. Obviously the Ravens will have a game this week. So it is possible that Mark Andrews could play in the divisional round the following week, right? I would assume that he's doing everything possible to play in that game. If he doesn't happen to play in that game, I would have to imagine he plays in the AFC Championship game if the Ravens, you know, make it that far, right? So this is great news for the Ravens' offense right here. I mean, I don't have to tell you what Mark Andrews means to his offense, what he means to the Ravens as a whole. Now, has Isaiah Leckie done a great job of stepping up in the, in the, in the role? Of course he has, right? But to me, this is one of those good problems to have. It's like, how do you reincorporate Mark Andrews into the offense, right? How do you still have Isaiah Leckie be a piece of the offense? Because he deserves that much, right? So this is one of those good problems to have, right? I don't think that Mark Andrews comes back and is immediately playing, you know, 85% of the snaps, right? We got to think, man, he had a he had a pretty severe ankle injury, right? You know, it took him a while to get up off the ground when he had that ankle injury, right? So he ended up walking off the field pretty much under his own power because that's the kind of guy he is. But at the same time, we got to realize that it was a serious injury, right? And I believe we're eight weeks out from that, so about so two months from that. So is he 100%? I, I would assume not, right? So uh, I think Isaiah likely still gets a lot of the a lot of the play, but having the 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 ability to mix Mark Mark Andrews into the lineup is a beautiful thing, right? Having the thought process where Mark Andrews doesn't have to be um, the, the main uh, component of the passing game or the passing game isn't going to work, it shows incredible advancement of this Ravens team. So uh, Mark Andrews has officially returned back to practice. That's great news for the Ravens. That's great news for, you know, this, the, the entire team where the Ravens are looking to make this push to the Super Bowl, win the, win the entire thing. Now you add guys like Dalvin Cook to this offense, right, um, who is, I believe, still a very uh, explosive running back. He's only 28 years old, guys. You know what I mean? Then you bring back uh, Mark Andrews from IR, right, when you already have Isaiah likely playing at an incredible level. Ravens offense is adding weapons when you want to add weapons right now. That's going into the playoffs and to the most important part of the season where, um, you know, it's do or die time, right? So uh, the Ravens are in good shape, man. You know, so I want to make this video to say, man, congratulations to the guys who made the all-pro team. And shout out Mark Andrews for being a dog, being a warrior, for already coming back from injury. And the Ravens certainly do miss him. 
And when he, if he does get out there in the divisional round, I'm happy to see him play again. So uh, I just want to get an update to you guys, man. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Gabriel, Click on Fan TV. I'm out.